The historic Smith Brothers Vickers Vimy aeroplane that brought them to Australia from England more than a century ago is on its final journey. It's being dismantled so it can be rebuilt for public display at the Adelaide airport. It made a record-breaking journey across the globe. Now it's making a painstaking trip just 100 metres down the road. This is uh, about 100 years old, so it's very fragile. Uh, the, the glues and adhesives and fittings that they used at that point in time. More than 100 years ago, South Australian brothers Sir Ross and Sir Keith Smith flew this Vickers Vimy plane from England to Australia. It was an unbelievable achievement for the, uh, the Smith brothers plus their two mechanics. The plane was once on public display, but for more than a decade it's been stored in a humidity-controlled space at Adelaide Airport's former terminal. Experts say it's a delicate process to dismantle the plane and reassemble it in the new display building. The original great race back in 1919 was 18,000 kilometres long and it took 28 days. And this one, uh, because of the complexity of the task, it might just be down the road, but it's going to take more than twice that time. There are hopes the new exhibition will offer more education on the significant international artefact and Australia's aviation history. To fly from England to Australia in under 28 days um, to win the £10,000 prize that the uh, federal government offered back in 1919. Please come and visit it, learn the story, be proud. Adelaide Airport plans to open the exhibition by the end of the year with hopes it will attract visitors nationwide. Shari Hams, ABC News, Adelaide.